This country is called the Great Experiment for a reason. A but, here's what happened. Before we get to anything, I just gotta bring this all up, because I can. <laughs> you never hit a mentally ill person with his dead mother's severed leg. It's a real trigger. Then trigger warning, bitch. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Or if you want to see more. Something happened a few years ago. The wrong people came into power. Back when the whole Me Too movement fucking kicked off. Well, yeah, because what happened was all the people who knew what the fuck they were doing got Me Too'd and got replaced by these spiteful bitches who just wanted to ruin everything. Yeah, these spiteful <laughs> bitches have done the same thing to men. And nobody wants to talk about that shit. Well, look at Brendan Fraser. He got sexually harassed and people ignored him. What the fuck? Dude, what they're doing now is put the fucking American fucking cinema back to the ground in 1920. is when they give out fucking these participation trophies just for being something lame. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, oh, this character's a gay woman of color. Who cares? So, so this whole story has to do with proofs that the piano is just a musical instrument for clowns. Because clown in Spanish is payaso. Okay, if you look back on the history of it, it's all bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. 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 They make you feel a little better, and then they take it away. Fucking Top Gun Maverick. Everybody loves that movie. I love the fucking movie. I ain't gonna lie. But it is woke as fuck, but nobody notices it. Because they put Star Wars and Top Gun together, and it's fucking awesome. Oh, yeah! Are we ever gonna have a fucking 80s movie ever again? No, we're never gonna... Hell, we're not even gonna have a 2000s movie, because that's even considered, like, aging badly, too. The 80s... Even though they were copying the 50s, the 80s was like the OG original badass. The 90s, whatever. And then in the 2000s, they're trying to be the 80s. Now is a copy of a copy. Well, if you think about it, everyone's multiplicity. That's what I'm referring to. A copy to. of a copy of a copy, you know, the, the copies always get a little fucking steadier. Exactly. Every time you make I, one. Uh, exactly. You look at, okay, so, so the two. Dude, I've been saying this shit about, like, raising kids wise, right? Wow. Think about it. We I'm gonna clean the slate as much as I do. All right. Now we know, right? Like, it's like, okay, something that they did that we refuse to do is the reason why today is the way it is. I'm gonna be easier on my kids. Apparently, that was the wrong fucking thing. To yeah, do. yeah. We were the generation who thought it was a good idea to beat your kids illegal. I never said that. I'm not gonna beat my kids like my fuck, like I got my ass beat. It fucking taught me something. I mean, come on! 2002, there's a, some thing called the Vampire Bazaar, right? And there's this well, one 15 old kid who always show up just being obnoxious little shit. Would just drive everyone nuts, and I realized this is the ghetto, and this kid's a ghetto fucking monster. So I kicked him square in the nuts. You know what happened? He started respecting me and being very nice to me, and, and it was always very respectful to me. Now he has a good job, wife, kids, <laughs> all that shit. His life got all together when I kicked him in the nuts. Man, look, even bullies need to be put in their place. Yeah, that, you know that, 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 that's why we need bullies. We need bullies so you can face your bullies. Oh, oh have you seen the new uh, Christmas story yet? The, the bully's now a cop. Ralphie and his family go to visit his mom in town and blah, 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 right? Ralphie ends up in the cop car, and the, and the guy driving the cop car was the bully. And the bully takes him home instead of, like, taking him to the police station. And he goes, after you beat the shit out of me, taught me I needed to not be an asshole. We need bullies, but also bullies need someone to kick their ass. And you know what? I think the word bully might be the wrong word to use because it's been so... Welcome to your 
Antagonist? Like the word redneck. I ain't gonna get into this. Okay. How... All right. The the proper word we, we should use now is antagonist. No, I'm just talking about how the rednecks <laughs> have been fucking demonized across this fucking world. So, uh, what? Eighty years. Or <laughs> whatever. But like anytime you hear a fucking redneck in a movie, they're dumb and stupid and da 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 and they're racist and they're da da da. Like if we went to fucking actual court over this, Welcome to I would your have room. more of a case to get money to sue somebody over, right? As a redneck than any fucking black person would. Come on! We, our fucking people have been demonized way fucking longer in this goddamn country. Fuck all of you motherfuckers. I don't give a fuck if you like- I am your fucking asshole if you want to live a lot longer and if you want to extend the length of your poly walk. Well, that's why they're bitching so much about the fucking Roe versus Wade shit. I mean, it's all connected. Look up the ass dry with no fucking Vaseline or wet wear whatsoever. We're gonna dry fuck her asshole until it's sticking out of her ass. Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? Bro, <gasps> be fucking dead. All those fucking manly motherfuckers that actually could save this country. But, 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 but why? Because we don't have the fucking hardware to go against the military. Then explain purposely paid money to do. And then they fucking push it on little kids. Coach Michael. What are you doing at a high school dance? There's actually scientific proof that it's not good for kids. Yeah, right? Because it gives them... Dude, you got all these fucking people coming out. The older people that's been doing it since the fucking 60s or whatever. Mm -hmm. You'll have these fucking interviews where they're like, Dude, that was the dumbest fucking thing I've ever done in my life. You can't shake back from cutting your dick and balls off. All yeah. right, they produce shit. Your polywog is your sperm. Guess what? Good luck. Congratulations. You won the raid. You grew up and got big. But where'd your polywog go? Your polywog is the nucleus, which is your brain, and its tail runs down the nerve endings all the way to your spine, passing the 33 chambers of Jacob's ladder. But it's not a polywog, and it's not a tadpole. It's a polypole up your tadwog, because poly is many, pole is, the, is your spine, and the only way to get the nerves up there to grow a tad, to get the message to your tad gap, polypod. The only way to do this is to clean the snake's tank, walking around full of shit septic. It's a balance. We're men for a reason, and if you take that away, because women are born women, right? Like, they have all their fucking parts that they need to produce all the chemicals and whatnot and have you, right? Yeah. But whenever a man tries to fucking take the place of that, it's like, look, dude, there's certain things that you don't have that they do. And if you try to fucking, like, just cut off this and that, it's not helping. And the only way to do that is to express ourselves to truly express ourselves. What the fuck are you talking about? The uh, body positivity movement, which is actually I found it as, as a women's only thing. So it's just a bunch of fat uh, chicks. They frown on fat dudes, but they champion fat chicks. And their champion is Lizzo. So they're sexist. Well done! Well, they're only hurting themselves. Well, yeah, and they won't live long either. If you're 30 years old, I have to breathe in a breathing tube because you're so fucking fat. In another 20 years, when they have the scientific information to back this up. There is scientific ba information to back it up. The extreme always seems to make an impression. It's feelings over science. Well, duh. <laughs> It's like the chick who thought it was a good idea to have Dylan Mulvaney as a folks person for fucking Bud Luck. Seem to have an open door policy for assholes, though, don't they? What did you say, dickhead? <sighs> I'll repeat myself. It's some asshole who got a bullshit degree and got a job. I've made a huge mistake. Before we continue, let's get to today's sponsor. Nebula, off of Curiosity Stream. Nah, do I look like a fucking virtue signaling fucking douche? Do I look like I'm one of the Lindsay bitches who suck Ryan Johnson's dick? Fuck that shit. No thanks to you. And? How many shits could you shit if you were hopping at your hips? No shits. But hip hop, how many oh. shit, why do they call them shit kickers if they're dancing in a line or if they're dancing in a square doing the do si do? See in Spanish is yes, and that's just a yes to a doo doo. But yes to a doo doo if you're dancing on a do si do? I don't think so. The only way to truly express yourself is to send the piano up your fucking asshole. When I'm done with this bullshit, like, you're not gonna watch this. But if you do like what you see here, comment, like, dislike, share it if you want. I uh, I go into more detail, but I'm just trolling in. You all can suck it.
Shout out to my patrons. about like this college kids you want to do like a film festival of b-movies old movie theater I saw it on Showtime or HBO or something. that movie theater was the palace theater in downtown la so yeah. rebel rebel did it something like a similar thing to that in real life called dockerama at that exact theater and me my brother and this guy i knew also named shadow went to that show specifically to bring stuff to smash Hell yeah. and i brought this old giant tube <laughs> tv that doesn't work anymore just so they could smash it with a fucking sledgehammer that shit explodes again. That's why we brought it!